New Zealand's foreign minister is in China for a four-day visit which ends today. This marks the first visit of a New Zealand minister to China since the year 2018. The minister earlier met with China's top diplomat Wang Yi in Beijing. The conversation between leaders touched many contentious issues, ranging from decreasing freedom to fading rights in Hong Kong and Taiwan. Island country's minister said that she raised issues of China human rights abuses with the top diplomat. She also talked about repression of minorities in China's Xinjiang region. Previously, we've, New Zealand's been quite consistent in raising the issue uh, with regards to the Uyghur people in Xinjiang uh, and also uh, a number of other issues in relation to uh, Tibet and Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan and the South China Sea. She also called out China's increasingly assertive behaviour and raised concerns over its growing military presence in the South China Sea. The leaders also discussed about the ongoing Russian war. The New Zealand minister also urged China to influence Russia's actions in Ukraine. In previous discussions, uh, we certainly urged China to use its influence with Russia uh, to uh, see the withdrawal uh, of troops and ceasing of war. She said that she hoped her visit would mark a resumption of high-level discussions between the two nations. The minister said that such a development could pave the way for a potential visit from New Zealand's new Prime Minister, Chris Hipkins, as well. Now, China's foreign ministry also released a report of the meeting between the two leaders earlier. It said that the leaders exchanged views on cooperation with other South Pacific Island countries while agreeing that they should jointly promote regional peace, stability and prosperity in the Pacific. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.